Am I audible, sir? Yes, sir, you are audible. Uh, my screen is visible? Yes. Uh, so, my case study uh, of Accenture skills is using the tool of Microsoft called Power of is a tool which uh, offers a lot of uh, your voice. Your voice is not coming properly. I think it is echoing from your side. Hello, hello. Uh, now it's okay. Yeah. Uh, so basically, what's my use case is that uh, I'm taking this thing just a okay. So what we get in our organization is that we get an invoice like this. Okay. We need a lot of data from this invoice that goes into analysis to arrive at the final figure, whether it is correct or not. So usually what we used to do earlier is that hello. 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 Yes. Yes. Tech team, Hello. please you please help Digvijay for the voice. Is it audible, sir? Now? Yeah, you're yeah, we, yeah, you hold the mic in front of your mouth, yeah, then yeah, it sure. will be audible. Yeah, and sure, sir. Please go ahead. Okay, sir. So basically, what we used to get is like invoice like this. And from this, we have to analyze whether this is correct or not. Okay, so for that, earlier, what we used to do manually com uh, compile the data in Excel and then analyze it. Okay, so. But what I'm using is not through Power Automate. I'm taking the, I'm just uploading an uh, PDF invoice in a particular folder. And from there, it will just convert that into an Excel paper. Like this. As you can see on the right side, like this, we converted it to a model to Power Automate. So, what we just do is that we just we just take an invoice and copy to a particular folder. <laughs> That's it. Now the AI is running in the background. It will automatically convert it in a Excel paper. So just give it a minute or two. It will so in the meantime, let me just uh, elaborate about method of automation. So robot process automation uh, software of Microsoft it helps in you know, automating complex tasks. Digvijay, you are not audible. Digvijay. Hello. And what was that now? Now go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> so power automate uh, design in a way so that we can uh, automate our uh, daily tasks uh, which are repetitive in nature. Okay. So using AI we can automate these tasks and present it in whatever form we have. So basically, my use case is that we use an AI model of power automate. To extract data from invoices and even other kinds of documents also. And in the power automate flow, we can just update our Excel papers. So, so my flow is running, just what uh, the invoice I created. So it just took around 25, 26 seconds to convert that into an Excel paper. Yes, you can see. So here we were seeing the seven. So now this has been the eight has been added by the AI. So, so 
this is a use case. Uh, this we are using for invoice conversion, but we can also use it for other documents also as per the user's need. So if I can just show you some steps how I created it. So basically two parts are there. First we have to create an AI model. And the second step is that we go for an automated flow. So here are here is a screen of This is a uh, power automate uh, page with a uh, power uh, Microsoft tool. premium kind of model. Some we are paid with it, otherwise, it is mostly free. So, we go for an API model. So, here, and the next step is that we have to create our own model, AI model. Okay. So, if we just click on invoices, certain things in Microsoft Power Automate can do it on it on its own. You don't have to provide anything. But since we have a very specific requirement, we will train it like a uh, separate model. Okay. So what kind of uh, fields which we will require from our invoice document? So let's say invoice number, invoice date, supply view, supply list, receiver list, receiver list, and so on. Apart from that, we also need like what is the GST, what is the tax available, what is the number of the We all provided that these things will require from our invoices. So just we have to upload a sample documents. Five is enough, and more you go, more uh, perfect your model is. So once we upload the sample documents, we do it like this. Now you have to add quick fields. So if you can see that there is an uh, invoice number right here. Okay. So just we have to create a box around it and we'll just tag, give us an option. What this thing is. What this thing is, this is our invoice number. So we'll just go and tag make this only our rest of the field. As you can see there, we have tagged almost like 1230 in, in the first half so the document. Similarly, I give for the numerical So like this you have to tag multiple documents for all the documents. Six documents are provided. So I have all the six documents with this practice value. As you can see, I have provided last two minutes. Then you just have to train the model. So you can see that the accuracy score here is 98%. Usually it doesn't get above 99% ever. So 98% is also good. You can always go back and change the tagging as you have done previously. It will go up to 99%. Next step is to create an Excel table. Whatever field you have previously provided, you just give it in an Excel table. Then you have to create a flow. Flow is only thing which I am going to do is copy a PDF invoice in a particular folder. So from there, next all the things are okay. So when a file is created, okay, all document will know that that in a particular folder, a PDF document is created. It will analyze the file content and it will secondly extract the information from documents from the AI model like this we have provided earlier. Just have to drag this in supply name what is there? We have from our AI model we got the supply name that similarly other things we have to just place it here. You can see that the testing we got from this home model just we don't have to type anything, we don't have to and we do anything in this way except copying the video file to a particular folder. Just to clear. Yeah, your time, sir. Yes, sir. 